innovation. There was a time when the gun was big. Now you see revolver, small one. So there is a lot of innovation and research in the field of violence. In the field of violence. So what should we do? We should have so much of research and innovation in the field of non-violence. If you don't want violence, then you should also do research and innovation in the field of non-violence. Otherwise, what is happening now in the world? A lot of money is spent for research, innovation and production of violence, whereas no money is spent in the field of non-violence. So who will grow? If there is so much money and research in violence and no money, no research in non-violence, who is going to grow? Who will become big? Violence will become big. Very good. I am so happy that you are listening so carefully. That violence will become big and non-violence will become small. And this is a danger today in the world. So many companies producing violence, selling violence. So you have bomb blast and you have war and you have fight. Everywhere you read in the newspaper in the morning about violence. Violence in Afghanistan, violence in Iraq, violence in Syria, violence everywhere. And in the newspaper there is no news about non-violence. So we need to create news for non-violence. So one request will be as students of science, as students of sociology, as students of uh, mathematics, think about how do we promote non-violence through our studies, our research, our investment. See, when I met the Prime Minister, what is the name of the Prime Minister? Uh, when I met the Prime Minister, I told him recently, I told him, look, Mr. Prime Minister, we have a defense ministry. Defense ministry is for war, no? Army. We have a ministry for army. We also have a ministry for police, home ministry. Defense ministry is for army and home ministry is for police. I said, if we have one defense ministry, one police ministry, why we don't have a peace ministry? We need a peace ministry. So, one action you can do, all students, you can write a postcard to the Prime Minister. You say, Mr. Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, please begin a peace ministry in your government. Can you do that? This is a small action because you are working for justice and peace. What you can do is to write a postcard to the Prime Minister and say, Mr. Prime Minister, please start a peace ministry in the government. Because if you only promote army and police, who will promote peace? So there should be a minister, there should be a secretary, there should be a budget. So peace can also be promoted. You agree with this? You agree with this idea? Good. So when you get time, if your teachers will permit you, buy a postcard for 50 paise and write a letter to the Prime Minister saying that, look, we want a peace ministry. This is our demand. When the Prime Minister will receive thousands and thousands of postcards, he will have to think about it. He will have to think about a peace ministry. So that is the first one. Second part I want to say, non-violence need to be manasa vacha karmana. You understand that? What is manasa? Mind. Mind. What is vacha? Vacha? Sound. Speaking. And what is karmana? Action. Action. So, non-violence need to be in mind, in words, and also in action. So, in our heart, in our mind, 
we need to be non-violent. When your friend will get more mark in the classroom, you are jealous or you are happy? Happy? Good. Then very good. I am happy to hear that. So when somebody is succeeding, suppose you fail and your friend will pass, you will be jealous or happy? You should be happy because at least he is passing. My friend is getting good marks and he is passing. So, in our mind, we should be always non-violent, not to think bad about others, not to be jealous, not to be always criticizing others. So, in our mind, we should be what? We should be what? In our mind, what we should be? Non-violent. So in our mind we should be non-violent. And in our words, a lot of problems in the country are because how we speak. We speak very harsh. We speak very bad words. We speak in a way that we hurt. We create hurt in the minds of others. We speak in a way that we create bad feelings in the minds of others. And they feel sad. They feel frustrated. If you go home and if your mother is giving you food and you say, oh, food is not good, then mother will be happy or sad? Sad. You know, the mother feels that I am cooking this good food for my child and he says the food is not good. Then the mother will be sad. So a lot of fights, lot of violence are because of the words. How we speak, how we respond to people, how we communicate with people. So our vacha, the word, the way we speak is reason for violence. And the third is action. When you see a dog, the tendency is to take a straw and throw at the dog. You see that happening? When you see a dog going like that, we take a stick and throw it to the dog. And when the dog cries for life, we laugh. Isn't it? That's what happens every time. So in our action, we are violent. So, if you want to practice non-violence, non-violence should be manasa. Say that again. Uh, if you want to practice non-violence, it should be manasa vacha karmana. In my thinking, I should be non-violent. In my words, I should be non-violent in my action. I should be non-violent. So non-violent in thinking. Okay, repeat it. Non-violent in thinking, thinking, and non-violence in speaking, and non-violence in acting. Remember that. You know, real non-violence is not just outside. Real non-violence is also in the heart. Real non-violence is in the brain. Real non-violence is in the words. So, will you remember Manasa Vacha Karmana non-violence? One. So the first lesson was, there is so much research and investment in the field of violence. There is a ministry for defense, ministry for police. So what do we need? Peace Ministry. And for that, what are you going to do? Write a postcard? To the Chief Minister? To? Prime Minister. Wonderful, wonderful. So two lessons are over. The third lesson and the last lesson. Right? Fire for fire. What is the lesson? So, what is happening today in the world? All the boys are in front and girls are behind. Eh? I'm sorry for it. <laughs> you, you can hear me properly, girls? 
You can go. Good. So, in the world today, when there is a small fire, what is it? What do we do? We bring big fire to put it down. When there is a small war in Iraq, we brought America to put it down. When there is a small war in Syria, we brought Russia to put it down. When there is a small gunda, we invite big gunda to put him down. Is it? That's what we do in Germany. See, when there is a small gunda, you invite a big gunda. Come and beat you. So, fire for fire. Fire with fire. What do you think? Can we put down fire with fire? No. To put down fire, we need water. What do we need? To put down fire, we need water. So, but in the world today, everybody is practicing the same thing, fire with fire. Small fire, big fire. So, no problem is getting solved. The problem in Iraq is not solved. Every day there is a bomb blast. The problem in Afghanistan is not solved. Problem in Syria is also not solved because we are trying to put down fire with fire. And fire with fire is not the answer. Fire needs water. And what is water? Non-violence is water. What is water? Wherever there is violence, that violence needs to be contained by, by non-violence. So, whenever you find a problem, don't use big gunda to fight a small gunda. Okay? So, every time when you find a problem, it, try to see how I can solve it non-violently. In our classroom, there are problems. Somebody is bullying. Don't try to be bullying back. See how can we solve this problem of bullying non-violently. Somebody is speaking loud. Then you should see how can we approach this problem non-violently. Somebody is creating problem in the classroom. We should see how do we approach this problem non-violently. Whenever you see a problem, don't run to the teacher. Don't run to the headmistress. What should you see? You should see how we can solve this problem non-violently in our classroom. And that is why it is very important for each one of us to learn how to use non-violence. Effectively, whenever we find violence, violence can be in the classroom, violence can be in the house, violence can be in the street, so you need to understand how to use a non-violent method to fight violence, to contain violence. So every one of us need to train ourselves to use new methods of non-violence. And when you see somebody angry, see how to use non-violence to deal with him. Somebody is agitated, how to use non-violence to contain him. Right? So, everyday life, try to use non-violence, try to train yourself in non-violence and become a master of non-violence. Master of? Uh, not master of violence, master of non-violence, that I can use non-violence to deal with all kinds of violence. That is what Mahatma Gandhi did. When British government came with all the arms and police and army, Mahatma Gandhi said, look, I am a master of non-violence. I will deal with the army of British government non-violently, no killing, no fighting. But non-violently, I am going to defeat the British army. And he did so. So let us learn from our history, Buddha, Mahavir, Gandhi, Vivekananda, let us learn from our history how great people like Bhagavan Buddha, Mahavir Swami, Mahavir Swami, you know Mahavir Swami? The, the, the person who, who is worshipped by Jain religion, 
Sobuddha, Mahavir, Vivekananda, Mahatma Gandhi. Think of all those people. All these people helped us to understand non-violence. So India, India should be exporting non-violence. India should not be exporting anything else because India has a history, a heritage of non-violence. Who are the people? Top. Who are the people? Non-violence people? Buddha, Mahavir, Vivekananda, Gandhi. So we have a heritage of non-violence. So India should be exporting non-violence to every part of the world. When everybody is exporting gun, everybody is exporting violence, what should India export? Non-violence, ahimsa. What is it? So we should be proud that India will promote, India will export non-violence to the world. This is what I am doing now. I go to different countries to teach young people about non-violence to various parts of the world. So I want your support. All of us together, hundreds and thousands of us together, should be speaking about non-violence and also acting non-violence and promoting and exporting non-violence. And that is how India can be a proud country and people will respect India. Okay? Thank you very much for this morning. I enjoyed meeting you. You are an excellent, wonderful children and I will come back to meet you sometime later. Okay? Thank you.